Hello everybody, I'm Sharpie, and this is episode one of Let's Play Dragon. Now this is a suspense game, and I found it on Steam during some event, and I've wanted to play it ever since, and I think we're finally going to start, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. Now, I haven't done too much research on what this game's about. I just know it's a mystery game. And from all the screenshots that I could see, this game looks beautiful in its stylized manner. And I think it takes place in Sweden. I could be wrong, but... Hello, game gonna sit there being all staticky day one I hear sad piano music the water's cold it's a fjord you're not going swimming boo you're such a wet blanket teddy bear you know I don't like it when you call Edward. me Edward Charles Harden Esquire Will you promise to behave on land? Don't I always? Lissy, promise. Well, piffle and phone is balone as Teddy. You ought to know better than to ask. Yes, I'll behave. I'll be a proper young lady. I shan't run or climb things or laugh too loud or call anyone old baby. Aside from you. So, do you think we'll find your Betty in, uh, what did you call this village? Gravelick? Oh, I have control right now. Gravelick? It's an odd language. I don't much. Gravelick. Yes, I do. Why here? What's so, so do I have to zoom Greywalk? in to figure out these options? But knowing my sister, something drew her here. But how can you? God, know? look Just at all do. these mountains. In her letter, she wrote about. But that's months ago. She could have gone anywhere. Without writing. Or telegraphing her editor in New York, she wouldn't do that. Betty's Ooh, the cat's pajamas, the bee's knees, little Miss Perfect. Alice, you're talking about my sister. Fine, I'm sorry. Elizabeth Sadarb, we all love her dearly. And Teddy Bear, Edward, we will find her. Betty's fine. Why, we'll see her as soon as we get to shore. She'll shower you with kisses and berate you for coming all this way from Hanover, Massachusetts to the middle of absolutely nowhere Scandinavia way just to chase Norway. her down. Everything will be Jake, old fruit. <sighs> Jake, old fruit. Is that it? Is that Groove Woke? It looks so peaceful and beautiful and so desolate, like a place built for ghosts. Finally. I don't think I could do this for much longer. Can you row any faster? I'm getting frightfully bored. Oh my goodness, this How about you take girl. Her, Alice? <laughs> you slay me, Teddy, old bean. Was that thunder? Still distant. The boat will be in safe harbor by the time the weather arrives. So you say. But I say put your back into it. Because we're sitting ducks out here. Quack, quack. Okay, that's an intro. I always like it when games give you control over cutscenes. Although this one. It's so quiet. Where is everyone? Probably working. I know it's a foreign concept okay. to you, but now it's something finally more have control. Do. Hardy, har, har. The Fretland Farm is up the hill somewhere. Up where? I believe it's that farmhouse. That way. All the way at the top. Hot dog! Let's ankle! Hold on. Let's Let me read the ankle? letter from Mrs. Fretland first. I'll meet you up there, old sport. I want to explore. Last no, no. The ground's muddy. That's it's how people die in video games. And watch out for... Don't be a wet blanket. A little mud never hurt anyone. Wet blanket. Oh my I'm goodness. What are these phrases that these close? people as as keep saying? Keep up with me. Uh, don't run. Oop. 
have a letter. Dear Mr. Harden, we would like to extend an invitation to visit our home. Trouble to hear of your sister's disappearance. No news to share. You'll find our farm on top of the hill. I hope I got that right. Look forward to seeing you here in October. Yours faithfully, Anna Fretland. Well, I'm here. Where are you? Did you make it to Grovik, Betty? And why did you pick this forlorn hole under the mountains? Also sprach Zarathustra. Uh -oh, I hear thunder. Teddy, are you coming? I'm almost there. I'm on my way. Right oh. Step to it, teddy bear. Step to it, teddy bear. So, given that I am called Teddy Bear, I assume there's some kind of sensual relationship between me and this girl whose name I just read and cannot seem to remember. And I know this is in the wrong direction, but hey, even though I'm walking at a snail's pace, I want to explore. Because, I mean, look at this environment. I mean, goodness gracious, it just looks beautiful. You got your nice sticks on the beach. Oh, can I crouch? Nope, I can't crouch, unfortunately. I feel like it's getting darker by the second. And there's so much fog. Fog, yes. Mm. Very atmospheric. So it looks like I can go left or right here. So press Where are you, Lissy? Lissy, that's her name. Just stick to the path and you'll find me. So I can see characters audio waves, is that what that is? Nicholas Bolton. I wonder if there are collectibles in this. Sky Bennett. Hey, that's the name of the game I'm playing. Go figure, right? A nice little river here. Oh, that's weird. If I right-click, I move forward. So that way it looks like it's closed off. We're just going to go ahead and walk this way. I also love how I have the precarious superhuman ability to zoom in. Rest. What does this do? Why would I want to rest? Just taking a break. I don't know if I'd want to live there. How do you even get to that ladder? Goodness gracious. There's also no sprint button. I'm also sorry, I'm not going to try to pronounce your name, Mr. Lead Programmer. What is that supposed to be? Is that another breakpoint? I guess so. Am I supposed to be resting at all these points, or am I not supposed to be? Hmm. Yes. Much break. Okay. Let's continue on, Teddy Bear. That looks like a nice mansion. Is that a... S Swedish flag? 
Well, I just noticed these peculiar looking rocks over here in a circular formation. Is that a graveyard? No, that's a goat. Bah! It didn't call back to me. Okay. Let's see, there's a big antler. Two big antlers, may I be correct? It's another car path. And there's Alice. I need to rest at this one. Oh, so it was written and directed by the lead programmer. No, was that the lead programmer? I think that was Lee Program's name. What took you so long? I'm not 17. Nor are you 70. Put some spring into your step, old sport. Did you see the flag? It's at half mast. Someone died. That is true. So this must is be it, someone huh? important to the town then. But seriously, where is everyone? Hmm. This is starting to creep me out. We're gonna say inside. The rain's picking it makes logical. Most people go inside during storms. Hello? Anyone there? Mr. Fretland? Why are you looking at me like that? Mrs. Fretland? This is Edward Charles Let me Harden, just zoom in on your face. Letters. Examine all the pores. The door open. Give it a shake and a rattle. I can't just a shake and a rattle. Why don't I just give it the invited? old razzle dazzle? I'm coming in. This is. Uh, Hello. This is Mr. Harden. Knock knock. Hello. Is anyone home? This house is as empty as a bird's nest in December. So I can either go up the hey, stairs. Hey, check out the upstairs. Huh. Let's see why. I'm a guest. Why would I start poking around every corner of the house? I don't know. Maybe they're playing hide and go seek. Well, I didn't want to go upstairs anyway. It's creepy. There must be a sitting room on this floor. So we're not going either way. That's interesting. Oh, this is nice. Um, excuse me, how Charlie did you just Rustin. walk past me like that? The Boston Beaumont would pay a pretty penny for this setup. I thought foreigners lived differently. This is almost like an American home. People are people wherever you go. Thanks, Proust. Ooh, there's a church. There's the stave church. Do you think that's where they've all gone? Maybe there's a very popular funeral. The flag was at half mast, but no sign of life out there. Look, family pictures. They must be the uh, what did you call them? The Fret the Fretlands. Right, Anna and John. Johan. This is honestly <laughs> not what I'd pictured. They're very presentable. Ooh, there's a wedding. Wait, is that? Are they? It, who's? They're all twins. All oh goodness, they are twins. That's Johan and Anna Fretland. There are two of each, Edward. Two of each. That's Frederick and Margaret. Interesting. Twins marrying twins. <laughs> My mind's reeling. This is just too. The books are all in English. Mm, books. Isn't that a bit odd? Mrs. Fretland is Scottish. Though she grew up in all of a sudden. Scotland, not Sweden. Communicating with Johan's Wait. winsome wife, Edward Dearest? Certainly not. She was the one who wrote me, because Mr. Fretland's I English isn't as... I was only joking. Lighten up, old sport. Don't be such a pill. I find it weird that I can move forward by hitting right-click. Well, those boys look proud as peacocks. What does it say there? Groovy? Grooban. The mine. Maybe that's where everyone is. Digging for precious jewels in the Stygian Abyss. From what I learned of this place during the brief stay in Olesund, the iron mine shut down 20 years ago. So much to read, so much to do. Oh goodness, there's lots of... Foreign investors out of Frederick Fretland's mining company. Dire financial consequences for Fretland, who must have had a difficult time after his brother Johann Fretland pulled out earlier this year. Timing is yeah, I can finally like he knew something was about to go awry. Sprint. Uh oh, I have no. Oh, I do have a reflection. That's not Oof, very. That's a grim sight, old bean. That's not I'm very exhausted. appealing. And soaked to the bone. 
Let's get you to bed. We'll wait for the Fretlands. It's only courteous. Okay, I'll be honest. Betty. I was a little startling. Have you gone screwy again, Teddy? That's not Betty. Her That's... Scarf. I'd know it anywhere. It doesn't look like anything to me. It she just bought it in like... Bloomingdale's the Christmas before last. When she came home that year, she showed it off, dancing around the sitting room until I got dizzy watching her. I think you're misremembering. She couldn't make it home that year. Again. No. I'm... You're wrong. I'm sure she was there. Whatever. It's not like you pay any attention to me when Betty's around. I might just as well be a ghost. Dang, got some salty feelings over here. Look, it is her scarf. It even smells like her perfume. Shalima. But what if that's not... She's here. I'm finally going to find her. That's... That's great, Edward, really. I... I wouldn't want you to get your hopes up. I mean, where's everyone gone to? Something's not right, I'm telling you. Uh-oh. Teddy? I think I might have had one too many What's to wrong? drink. I... Lightheaded, that's all. You're having another spell. You know what happens when you exert yourself. Uh-oh, maybe I should have taken that last rest on the way up the hill. Sit down. That's an order from your commander. Hey. Yes. Fine. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm going to sip and not because you told me to. Because the game's making me. Just for a moment. I want you to lie down. Lie down and close your eyes. Nothing ever good happens from sleeping in a video game. What with the rowing? Unless it's Minecraft. Dragging up the suitcase up the hill. Minecraft is good to sleep. Keep an eye out. I promise. If they come home, I'll wake you. Now, lie down. Close your eyes. Breathe deeply. I'm just... How is she going to wake me if I'm laying on her lap? Did she just shush me? I think she shushed me. Is this supposed to be where I'm sleeping? <laughs> Oop, thunder. Elizabeth? Is that you? Why do I feel like I'm suddenly in a horror game now? Betty? Lissy? Lissy, are you here? Lissy! I'm not getting good vibes at all right now. Wasn't that curtain open before? I don't remember. Hello? Hey, who's there? Betty? Elizabeth? I don't Wait. know if I want to play this game anymore now. I thought there were people here. Uh... I don't know if I want to open up this door. I mean, there are people outside, there could be people inside. There could very much well be a killer behind the store. I mean, I guess I broke into this house, so it's not so much better. Let's go in anyway. Lissy, there's someone outside. It might be Betty. I thought the skies were bleeding red for a second. It? Ooh, I can go outside. I can go into that room. I can go up. Lissy! Stairs. Stairs? Scratch that, I can't go upstairs. Lissy! Uh, let's try opening up this door. Are you in here, Lissy? Oh, uh, please tell me there's no one behind me now. Okay, good. I guess outside we go. Who's you know, Hello? where I saw the murderous people. Let's definitely go that way. Lizzie? Is that blood? Or is that water? I'm not alone. What is that? Sure, why not stay outside with the murderous people? It's a perfectly logical thing to do. I mean, 
We're all logical people here. Let's just go hunt for these people that may or may not be trying to kill me. I can hear you. Okay, so that's interesting. I can see where sounds happen. It's one of my another one of my superhuman abilities. Who goes there? Wait. That didn't sound natural. I don't think that was a bear. That just fall. Someone there? Really? I have to climb this. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. Hello? Ah! Go! Matt! Ah. Betty, is that you? I mean the goat just ran this way, unless Are you there, Betty? The goat is Betty. Oh, okay, I'm sliding down the mountain. Oh, this is fun. Shit. Uh-oh. My glasses, my glasses. I can't be seen without my glasses. Elizabeth, are you there? That doesn't sound like Elizabeth. Betty? Alice. God, please let this be a dream. Can I go on the roof? Nope, okay. That's a crab basket. Is that Alice's scarf and hat? The boat, uh -oh. Edward. Where's our boat? Lissy. Oh wow, thank you for just coming out of the blue. Where did you go? Why did you leave me? It stopped raining and you were sleeping and That doesn't explain how you just Our boat got here though. Gone. Are you a demon? What? How? Maybe you didn't secure it properly. I pulled it up. I don't know. The rope's still I here. I tied it securely, but did you see Betty? Did I see... What are you talking about? I, I think... Betty... It was Betty, I... It was her. It must have been her. I saw her face in the window and... I don't know if that was her. Those looked sea. like pretty spooky demons to me. You really didn't see anyone. I haven't seen a single soul. Are you sure Yeah, that's because demons don't snapped. have souls. I'm right I mean, on this one. I saw her face and... It looked like her. Well, if it was her, why did she run away? Because um, she's a demon. Listen to me, I don't people. Know. Uh, it's getting dark. Back to the house. And tomorrow. And tomorrow's another day. Teddy bear. Can you figure it out? <gasps> no one ever right listens now, to me. Let's get you cleaned up. Look at you. You've got mud all over yourself. And then you really need to sleep. You must be exhausted. Come on. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pushing me all over the place. Okay, so what's happening now? Are we going to go back to the spooky demons? The spooky demons? Day two. Norway. Okay. Blue skies in Norway. Okay. So given that it's day two now, I think this is a perfectly good place to wrap it up. So thank you everybody for watching. Uh, part two will be linked here in the middle of the screen or down in the description when it's released. And uh, go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get up-to-date notifications about when part two comes out or any of my other future Let's Plays. So for now, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.